Hi, and welcome to this video on iOS management and enrollment methods. iOS enrollment can be done post setup, which means that you will go through the setup wizard after starting the phone, and when you get to the home screen, you can start the enrollment. Unlike enrolling Android phones, this does not require you to install our client. The client is only needed if you want to enable location tracking of the device. The enrollment credentials needed can be sent out through an email or SMS. And in fact, if you click the link in the email or SMS, you will be automatically enrolled. You could also just create the enrollment credentials and use a web link to enroll the device if you don't have access to SMS or email on the device. Another option is using the Apple Device Enrollment Program, or DEP for short. We have created a separate video on this, so please check out that if you want more information about it. But in short, it is about automatically enrolling a device upon setup so you don't have to do it manually. DEP is something which is registered upon purchase of the device or can be registered post purchase using a Mac. Supervised device is a mode you can put an iOS device into to gain access to elevated device management features. So let's see what's possible with DEP and non DEP devices and what's possible with supervised and non-supervised devices, starting with DEP first. With a non-DEP device, you will have to go through the manual setup before you enroll the device, whereas if the device is DEP, it will automatically enroll and set up the device for you. If it's not DEP, supervised mode can only be set via USB cord and a Mac, whereas if it's DEP, you can set supervised mode from an MDM. If it's not tapped, the user can wipe the device to completely remove the management and unenroll it. Whereas if it's tapped, the device will re-enroll itself after having been wiped. Again, check out our other video on that. So let's have a look on supervised mode then. On a non-supervised device, you can actually do quite a lot. You can require a passcode. You can push an email account, enable location tracking. You get access to a limited set of restriction policies. You can push a roaming configuration, VPN configuration, web shortcuts, Wi-Fi settings. But one of the problems is that the user will have to accept all deployed apps. So there is no silent app installation. The user can also unenroll the device. They can simply go into the menu and remove your control over the device. So. With a supervised device, you get fully silent app installation. You get access to app blacklist and whitelists. You get access to kiosk mode. You get access to all the iOS restrictions, such as denying some of the stock apps from Apple, deny access to the App Store, installing or removing apps. You can deny account modification, so the user cannot go in and add their own email account, for instance. You can deny the user from erasing and restoring the phone. And this one is important. Supervised mode gives you activation control. This is important in the cases where a user would log on to the device using their iCloud account and turn on Find My iPhone. And from then on, this device is now linked to that iCloud account, and you will need the user's credentials to reactivate the device and remove the Find My iPhone service. But if the device is supervised, you have control of the activation from your MDM. And you also get access to lost mode. So in the case that a device is lost or stolen, you can activate lost mode, which makes the phone a brick, pretty much. You can leave a message on screen asking them to return the device to you or the police. And you get access to many, many more, too many to go through them all in this video. I hope that clears out some questions. If you have any further, don't hesitate with getting in touch with us. Thank you. Have a good day.